One thing I've noticed when you, uh, with you know, when teaching beginners is as the you know the pieces at the start are really short, and as they start to get longer, it strikes fear into the heart of many. Uh, and today I want to talk about ways we can break that down for the beginner to make them a bit less daunting. As usual, um, I've broken this video down into chapters. If you jump to the description below, then you'll be able to click on each one of the links to get to the parts that you might find a bit more. Uh, Interesting. Okay, so the repetition is what we want to look for. That's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, repetition can be a musician's best friend. Uh, and what you'll often find is when you start to um, play longer pieces that you will get phrases and, and rhythms and stuff like that that are repeated. Essentially what that does is it shrinks the amount of learning we need to do. So if you've got a piece, that's a terrible way to put it, but if you've got a piece this length and you find out that there's actually you know, there's four different bits of music that are repeated 17 times and then it actually brings the amount of learning you've got to do down to a tiny wee bit. Once you learn those sections and then what you need to do is just put them back together and, you know, form the actual piece of music itself. It's so much easier and much less daunting than just trying to learn it a bar at a time. Repetition can come in sort of probably three main forms. Um, one would be that something's repeated you know, exactly the same again. So if you have C, D, E, F, G, and that appears seven times through a piece of music, then that's that sort of repetition. And in exactly the same place in the piano, so C, D, E, F, that sort of thing. Uh, and when you see it later on, you know, you'll see it again. Um, and that, again, once you learn it the first time, it just means when it re reappears, you'll be able to play it again. Uh, the other thing is where the pitch is the same, but the rhythm is different. So you may see this early on in the piece, but then it might come back as, you know, so you're still using the same fingers, you're still in the same place in the piano, but the rhythm's just slightly different. However, having learned it the first time just makes it a wee bit easier to apply these new rhythms to it. The last one is probably where the pitch changes, but the rhythm stays the same. So if we've got C, D, E, F, G again, but at the end of a piece, the composer might want you to play it an octave higher. Right, so that, that's the sort of thing to, to look out for when you're learning new music. So let's, let's actually do an example. Um, the piece I'm going to use today comes out of one of the Piano Safari books. Uh, it's a piece called Shadows at Dusk. Uh, it is like 18 bars long, something like that. Um, and again, you're coming from reasonably short bits of music before it, you know, maybe eight bars long and stuff like that. So all of a sudden it's across two pages and it's got lots of things to, to, to worry about. When we, when we actually look at the piece and analyse it a wee bit and break things down, it turns out there's only six patterns to learn, uh, which get repeated a lot, okay? So the first pattern is, is this, okay? And that gets repeated uh, quite a lot through this piece. The second pattern is this, okay? Third pattern is this, okay? Then there's a the fourth pattern, which is this, okay? And then if I can find it, the fifth pattern is just a, a minimum on C, and then have we got six pattern? Yeah, the six pattern is just this note here. Okay, so once we can play all of those, then all we need to do is kind of take them all and fling them back together and, and, um, and you've got the piece put together. So if I do just the first, if I take the pattern, the first two patterns, right, what happens is in the first two bars, we play pattern one, again, again, and then pattern two, Okay, so you can see where those two bars, suddenly we've taken, you know, tidy wee sections, we've repeated them and added a wee bit at the end, and it just makes it, again, it's just less to learn and less daunting. So if, if you find yourself stuck with a huge piece, look for repetition um, and try and make it easy on yourself. Okay, thanks again for your time. Uh, I'll see you in another video and have a great day. Cheers.